was just a job for me, you know, really, in the beginning. And um, one that I wasn't even really looking forward to because it was in a nursing home. And I, and I went in and I was, saw this, you know, this situation that anybody experiences when you go into a nursing home. You know, this hundreds of people just lining the hallways in wheelchairs, you know, literally dozing or seemingly comatose. And I, I really didn't expect to have a good experience from this job. It was like the worst job possible. And then um, when Henry was brought in front of us, this man who was just literally like this. And when we gave him Cab Calloway, this music from his youth, um, a being erupted out of this lost human soul. Cab Calloway was my number one band guy. I like. They did the the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy. What's your favorite favorite Cab Calloway song? Oh, I'll be home before Christmas. Oh. You can come plan on me. I'm a social worker by training. I have a career in technology companies. And in 2006, on the radio, I heard a journalist talking about how iPods are everywhere. And I thought, well, all the kids have them, a lot of adults. And, but if I'm in a nursing home one day, am I going to have access to my favorite 60s music? And so I Googled iPods in nursing homes. And even though there are 16,000 nursing homes, I couldn't find one that was using iPods. Um, so I called up, I live on Long Island, I called up a nearby county nursing home. I said, uh, I know music's already a number one recreational activity, but can we see if there's any added value if we were to totally personalize the music? And they said, sure. So I came in with my laptop and some iPods, and it was, you know, an instant and definitive hit with the residents. <laughs> get away from me if I'm in this place. It takes me back to my school days. Oh God, that's, that's beautiful. Does yeah. it make you happy to sing for us? Yeah. I'm crying. Are there any side effects to music, Dan? None. None. You know? No, no negative if, side effects. If this were, Dan always says, if this were a drug, right? If, if there were a drug that does what music does for these people, it would be the most blockbuster, multi-billion dollar drug. It's just you can't sell connection, you can't sell music, you know? And there's no, we need to make a place for things you can't sell. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Okay, so there's a, a tears of joy. Yeah. I thought you were gonna grow wings. I was trying. <laughs>